The Department of Meteorology and Atmospheric Science has welcomed several new faculty members over the last couple of years, and we're taking some time on Weather World to introduce them to you. Tonight, we check in with Dr. X.C. Chen, an assistant professor who focuses on tropical meteorology. Thanks for visiting with us, XC, and welcome to Weather World. Thank you for having me, John. Hey, it's our pleasure. So you work at Penn State, your work at Penn State focuses on tropical convection and tropical cyclones. Where did that interest in the tropics come from? Uh, I started to become interested in tropical weather since I was a kid. Uh, I was born in East China, and my hometown is greatly influenced by monsoon rainfall and tropical cyclones almost every summer and fall. So my parents would always tune into Weather Channel and check <laughs> what the weather will be tomorrow. And I watched all those weather forecasts together with them. But you know, uh, weather forecasts were not always accurate. So ever since then, I know that it is very difficult to accurately predict weather, tropical weather. And I want to understand uh, what caused this uh, tropical weather system and how to improve the forecast of tropical weather. Got it, got it. You know, everyone watching this show knows a little about hurricanes, mostly from the standpoint of the beautiful satellite images and, and maybe the forecast cone. But of course, it's a lot more than that. You teach a course to juniors and seniors called Tropical Meteorology. Give us a little sneak peek of what students learn in that course. So in this course, we will talk about every aspect of tropical cyclones, include the structure, dynamics, observations, and forecast of tropical cyclones. But besides tropical cyclones, we will also talk about other tropical phenomena like monsoons, tropical waves, and El Nino. So after this uh, course, the students will have a very comprehensive understanding of different tropical weather and the climate systems, and also the understanding of basic dynamics in the tropical region. Yeah, and because it's a junior or senior level course, you're allowed to do some fancy math as well to try to describe those things, yeah. So it's no surprise that your research interests all involve the tropics. I noticed that one approach you take looks at new ways of doing something called data assimilation to improve tropical cyclone forecasts. What exactly is data assimilation and what's novel about your approach? So we know that the laser model forecast low observation is perfect. So observation can only observe part or aspect of the atmosphere where forecast has errors. So data simulation is a statistical methodology try to combine the information from observation and the forecast in order to produce the best estimate of the atmosphere. So my approach is using data simulation techniques to assimilate remote sensing observations from satellite and radar in order to produce the best estimate of tropical convection and tropical cyclone in order to further improve the prediction of tropical weather systems. Yeah, and in fact, I saw in one of your recent papers, you collaborated with our radiation expert about using radar and satellite observations to make these forecasts better. Tell us a little bit more about that work. Yeah, so in this work, we find that simultaneously assimilating radar and satellite observations can provide the best intensity forecast of tropical cyclones. So the reason is because different observations observe different aspects of tropical cyclones. So for example, radar can observe the wind structure where satellite can observe the depths of the cloud. So if we can use data simulation techniques to accurately or correctly assimilate all this information from different observations, we can produce the most comprehensive and the most accurate estimate of tropical cyclones and then further improve the intensity forecast of tropical cyclones. So let's say that money was no object. If you could have one more type of data that you could assimilate at the beginning to improve the forecasts, what would that data be? So if money is not a problem, I think the high frequency and the high special resolution pressure observations will be very beneficial. So we know that the tropical cyclones are characterized by a low pressure center with strong pressure gradients near the eye wall. So if we have high resolution pressure observations, we can better describe the structure of tropical cyclones in the model. So in this way, we can further improve the track and intensity forecast. I see. 
So what do you think is the next big breakthrough in improving hurricane forecasts? So to me, I think the next uh, big breakthrough is the advancement of observation techniques. So nowadays, actually, we have more and more high resolution observations of tropical cyclones, like the high frequency infrared radiance from the new ghost satellite, and also observations from unmanned aircraft and surface vehicle. So if we can correctly assimilate all these new information into the model, I think we can further improve the intensity forecast of tropical cyclones in the future. All right. So um, just to finish up, what's it like to work in your research group at Penn State? Like, where might a student go to work after they finish their master's or PhD? So at Penn State, our graduate uh, programs actually cover the whole spectrum of meteorology and atmospheric science. My research group focuses on using numerical models and observations to study the dynamics and the prediction of tropical convection and the tropical cyclone. So um, because uh, our works require a lot of computational results, so we finish all, most of our simulations on supercomputers. So our, the graduates from our department are mostly working in um, operational centers or private sectors, uh, national labs, or the educational institutes. Dr. X. C. Chen, Assistant Professor, Department of Meteorology and Atmospheric Science, specializing in tropical meteorology. Thanks for stopping by, X. C. Thank you, John. And we will be back in a moment with a recap of the short-range forecast. <music>